Hey everyone, Sawmill Charlie. Well, the honey season's over for me, so now it's time to deal with the uncappings that came off my frames. So I'm setting up my solar wax melter here. I brought out a five gallon bucket of uh, uncapping wax out of my high butler uncapping tank. And using the solar and wax melter, I'm gonna use this mesh hardware cloth. It's about a quarter inch square holes in it. Uh, this year I'm gonna try putting a one sheet of just your common paper towel as a more of a filtration. I hear it's supposed to clean your wax and get it really yellow looking. Uh, it's going to be dripping down into this here plastic tub and I'm going to fill the bottom of this tub up with about an inch to inch and a half of water so the wax will float on it and not stick to this tub. So let's go ahead and start loading this solar wax melter up and I'll bring you a little bit closer. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get the screen put in place. Now you can see the silver looking area is the tray area where you put your wax in. This goes right in front where it drips off like sort of like a waterfalls. I'm gonna take this piece of common paper towel and lay that in here in front of the screen so the wax will melt and uh, filter it. I've got the plastic tub here. Now it goes actually through the front of the wax melter. And then I have just an old gallon uh, jug of water. And I'm gonna go ahead and pour that into the plastic tub and get about an inch or so, just as long as the wax can kind of float on top of it and um, that ought to be plenty good enough and then of course we have our five gallon bucket full of wax cappings which the bees are starting to find i'm going to place the cappings inside the wax melt here with hopefully without getting stung and distribute it kind of evenly across the pan Typically, if the sun is out really strong, within about four hours, it will melt maybe five gallon pail of wax cappings and be completely melted and into the pan below. All right, everyone, here's a close-up view of the solar wax melter completely loaded up with uncapping wax. The white paper towel is there in the front, using that this time for a filter. And then below that, in the lower level, is the plastic tub that's filled with about an inch to inch and a half of water. And then you can see the little silver thing hanging down. That is sort of the lip that the wax will flow through the filter cross that lip and then drip into the water and cool and turn back into a solid block of wax cappings hopefully very clean Well, everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video on how I'm utilizing my wax melter to render my uncapping wax. As you may notice, I'm wearing a new hat. The good people at Hive Alive sent me that. They also sent me this bottle of feed enhancer for bees that has seaweed in it. And I'll be using that this fall when I start feeding my bees two to one sugar water. And I will definitely be making a video about that. So until next time, please like, subscribe, click the notification bell, share my videos with your friends, and have fun with your bees.